My name is Ira Smith, president of Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. First, the Ira Smith team hopes that you and your family are remaining safe, healthy, and secure during this coronavirus pandemic. I want to assure you that Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. is fully operational. We are holding all no-cost consultations and meetings, either by telephone or virtual video meeting. So if you have any questions at all about this Brandon's blog or anything else, feel free to reach out to us, either myself or Brandon Smith, either by telephone or shoot us an email. We would love to hear from you. Today's Brandon's blog is about what he feels are the six disadvantages of a consumer proposal. But as you can tell from the title, six disadvantages of consumer proposal are not enough to stop a healthy return to enjoying life. He believes, and I agree, that notwithstanding these six disadvantages, a consumer proposal for people who owe $250,000 or less, other than for any mortgages, lines of credit registered against your principal residence, is an extremely worthwhile thing to eliminate your debt and avoid bankruptcy and return to a stress-free life. So there's a lot of good information in the blog, and I hope you can watch until the end of this video, because I know you will get value from it. Now, Brandon has written down below the blog, which outlines his views on the disadvantages of consumer proposals. If you want to read up on what a consumer proposal is and get the answers to the most frequently asked questions, take a look at Brandon's blog of last week, Consumer Proposal FAQ, Answers to 10 Tantalizing Consumer Proposal Questions. And a link to that blog is down below in this blog. I'm just going to summarize what Brandon believes are the six disadvantages of a consumer proposal. And he's explained it in detail, each one, why he thinks it's a disadvantage. And again, feel free to read the blog below. The first disadvantage is that the possibility that it may take a lot longer and be somewhat more expensive than you hope for to reach a deal with your creditors if 25% or more of the dollar value of the proven claims vote against your initial offer. It's possible that could happen. In a well-drafted, well-explained proposal, that won't happen. And I'm happy to say that the majority of the consumer proposals that we do are normally accepted by the creditors. But it is possible if the required majority vote against it, you'll have to come up with an amended proposal, which will be more money, and therefore your negotiating time will also add to the length of time you're in the consumer proposal. The second disadvantage is that it does have a negative impact on your credit rating you will go to an R7 and it will stay on your credit report for probably about three years after you complete your consumer proposal. But the negative impact is not as bad as in a bankruptcy. The third disadvantage is that if there's rejection by your creditors of your consumer proposal, and there's no agreement on what type of amended proposal you can make. 
if they won't accept what you can afford to pay, then probably your only other option is to go into bankruptcy. Fourth, if you miss three payments causing you to default on your consumer proposal, that is not a good thing. If that happens, again, your only real option is to file for personal bankruptcy, which is, of course, what you try to avoid in the first place. There are some transitional rules because of COVID-19, and a licensed insolvency trustee, such as myself or Brandon, can explain it to you during the no-cost consultation. Five, it will take you time to rebuild your credit. Brandon has many good suggestions on how that can be done, and it will take some time, and some people see that as a disadvantage, notwithstanding that they've been able to eliminate all of their debt. And number six, it only allows you to wipe away your unsecured debt. If you have secured debt, like vehicle financing, mortgage or mortgages on a home, and if you cannot afford to continue paying one or more of them, we can counsel you during the no-cost consultation on the best way to deal with that so you can turn that secured debt into unsecured debt before you file a consumer proposal. So those are the six disadvantages of a consumer proposal. As I say, there's a lot of good information in Brandon's blog down below. I recommend that you read it all. And again, the Ira Smith team hopes that you and your family remain safe, healthy, and secure during this coronavirus pandemic. The Ira Smith team is available and fully operational to meet with you, to answer any questions you may have by telephone, email, or video meeting. Feel free to shoot us a message, give us a phone call, both Brandon and myself, we would love to speak with you.